Yeah, uh, well, I've uh, been uh, invited with the uh, USA Boxing to uh, come up, bring in two uh, of our heavyweights from King's Gym. Uh, and we'll be flying to um, Puerto Rico in October uh, and to fight a tournament there with the two heavyweights that we have that are fighting out of Oakland, uh, King's Gym. Also, Mr. Charles King, the owner of the gym, will be flying with us to Puerto Rico to participate in this tournament. And it's going to be held in the city of Caguas. And by the way, the city in which Miguel Angel Cotto is from. And very last question, give us like a gym story, like a story no one's ever heard, like a fond memory, maybe at Andre Ward since he's fighting tomorrow. Like do you remember Andre from back in the day, just something silly, like maybe he struggled jumping rope or just any funny story about anyone really? Uh, uh, let's see, I can't think about anything about Andre, but I could uh, think about back in the day when we had um, uh, George Foreman who I trained there. Uh, and, and nothing funny about George Foreman. All we know is that George Foreman was a hard hitter. And the way he hit the bags at King's Gym was uh, amazing. Um, that's what I can remember uh, uh, a series of uh, what happened at, at, at King's Gym. That was a memorable time, watching George Foreman in his youth days hit the bag. Did, have you ever seen anyone hit as hard as him? People have said that there's been some people that hit harder, but my grandpa saw him. I don't know where, but he said that you, when you hear him, you can't believe anyone hits a bag harder than George Foreman. Uh, from my experience, I've not heard anybody else that could hit the bag as hard as George Foreman. I think George Foreman is the uh, epitome in, in hitting hard and hitting the bag like, like you're supposed to. But I don't know anyone else that uh, hits as hard as George Foreman.